Hello, hello developers, and welcome back to Elixir Pro. In this video, we will begin one of our series on the fundamentals of the Elixir language. In this series, we will be focusing on test-driven development, aka TDD. The idea of this series is not to build a very complex application, but to lay out some ground foundations so that you can approach TDD in a more clear way. The project for this series will be a generic to-do app but we will build everything with TDD. In this first video, we will have a cheat project so that we can check which, te which step we want to do next. By this, I mean we will actually build two to-do apps. The first one will be we'll do everything by hand, but on the second one, we'll use Phoenix generators. Well done, let's get started. First thing we're going to be doing is creating a new to-do app with mixphx.new to-do app. This will take some time, so let's get back once everything is done. Okay, guys, uh, the first one is done. Let's cd into it. Let's start with our git. So git in it. Git add dash dash all. Git commit. Actually, this would be our first initial commit. Let's compile. And let's run our tests. So let's get back once this is done as well. Okay, we can see that our tests, every single one of them passed. So let's go and create the other project. So let's type once again mix phx.new to do app, but now with generators. And also, let's get back once this part is done as well. Okay, guys, project has been created, so let's see the inch of it. Do the same thing, git init, git add dash dash all, git commit initial commit. Let's run our tests as well. Let's get back to you once this is done. Okay, our test passed. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing in this project here is we're going to be using the generators to generate most of what we will be covering in this first video. To do that, we're going to run mix pjx.gen html. The name of our context will be to do. The name of our model would be will be to do item. The name of our table will be to do items. This and the model are going to have a title that will be a string and a body that will be a text. So let's run this. Yeah, so if you can check here, this generated for us a controller, uh, templates for edit, form, index, new, and show. Another thing this created it was a view for us. This is the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at it, this to-do item controller test. This is the context that it generated, it generated and also another migration. This, oh no, this was the model, sorry. This is the, the context. And then it's injecting code here and also generating tests for it. The first thing we're going to be doing is like we're going to grab this. Then we're going to our router. We're going to be adding this here. We're going to set. We're going to reset our database so that this works. And we're going to be starting our application just to be sure that everything's working correctly. I can show this to you guys here. Let me show you. You see our application is running correctly. So actually, this is the first part of our generator. Since all our tests are passing as well, because generates they create tests that pass, so let's run our tests, like mix test. Let's compile our project. You see we have 19 tests now. Prior to that, we had just three, if I record correctly. So what the generators did for us, let me show you guys. So he created a controller for us, uh, to do item controller which has all this function. And actually the very first thing that we're gonna be taking a look at is the control a test to do app controller test, which is this one here. You can see that there's some, uh, some variables here at the top, some fixture, and here is actually our first test, this index list all to do items. Okay, so let's get back to our project. So this is our project that is, um, 
that we created just a few minutes ago. So if we open our editor and we can see that we don't have right now that controller test. The only thing that we have is a page controller test. So let's create one, to do item controller test. So guys, we're now in the to do item controller test. What we're gonna do now in our main project is go there and create a to do item controller test.exs. This exs stands for Elixir script. Let's remove this thing here. So we will start with dev module, which will be a to do uh, app web. This will be the to do item controller controller test and. If we, can, if, we, if we check in our project there, we see that it's getting this used to do, this is the name of our application with generators, con case. We have the same thing here. We can just search for our con case. And it is this it is this file here. We have to use this this module because it is importing some, some, some things for us. It's important, it's doing some alias as well. And by the end, it is building the connection so that we can use in the setup. So let's go back where we were. We can use use to do app web dot concase. It is this, same thing. Right now, we're not gonna be aliases anything. We're just going to go straight ahead to our tests. So let's create a describe block. This will be called index and and the name of our first test will be this one here, which is list all to do items. So guys, let's create our first test. Test called list all to do items. You can see here that right next to the name of our of our test, we can see that on the generated file we have this map here. This map, uh, we're getting the connection that we got from that con case, so that we're going to be doing the same thing. So let's create this map with con, con. Just to show you guys where we got this con was from the con case. You can see right in the bottom, this thing here. This is the same um, return that we can use in any of our setup blocks. So if we go back to where we were and do just something, just something like this, setup, do end, and actually we just return a tuple with OK con con. This is we're just grab, grabbing grab, grabbing the the con from the from the context and and passing it here. Actually, this should be context context, I guess. No, I think it's fine here, like this. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna be asserting is this first thing here. We're gonna be sending a GET request with our connection to the routes in our application. We're gonna hit the index function, okay? But right now, probably this test is gonna fail, but let's just try it. So actually the first thing we're gonna be doing is asserting something false, just to be sure that everything's working as expected. So let's try to run this test. We can check here that cons not being extended because of the thing that I passed. Right now we actually need to grab the context and this would be the context.con. And I think that this now will work fine. Yep, so our test is working correctly. We were expecting something truthy and we got false. And if we just change this here to true and run our test once again, you can see that our tests are now passing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is like doing this line here, a get with connection to routes to do item path, passing our connection to the index of our project. So let's do that. So con receive get connection routes dot to do item path, passing our connection and hitting the index function. If we if we try to run this function, this is gonna fail, right? Because right now we don't have this to do item path. Let's let's run our test. You see here, undefined function, function to do app router helpers to do item path is undefined or private. 
Okay, so how can we see all the routes we have in our in our project right now? Let's go open a new terminal here and like let's type mix mix pjx dot routes. This will show all the routes that we currently have in our app, and we see we don't have uh, to do item path. To create this to do item path, we're gonna be going to our router. We're gonna be creating a new get request. This will be to slash to do items. And this will go to our controller that we still didn't create, but let's put it here. It will be to do item controller. And it will hit the, it will hit the index function. Okay. So if we go, so if you type once again our mix pjx.route here, let's run it. We should see now that we have this this item to do item path with a get request that's hitting that's getting our to do item controller in the index function. So if we go back to our to do controller test item controller test and if we run this thing once again, we should receive another error. Yeah. So right now the error is saying that to do app web to do item controller in it is undefined this is saying that we don't have our our controller right now so let's go back here and instead we're gonna let's go back to the router we need to create this controller that we we said it ex existed here so let's go here into controllers and let's create a new to do item controller dot ex so def module this would be a to do app web to do item controller and we can see in our other project that let me close this thing the controllers they use some uh, they use another macro at the top to import a few functions if we go back this is the the project with the creators with the with the generators and this is the to do item controller. We see at the top that it's using this use to do app with generators web controller. If we go back to our project and search in the name of our project, which means to do app, and in this underscore web, we can see here what, what this uh, meta programming using controller is importing. It's importing the Phoenix controller, plug on, get text, and the router helpers. So let's go back here and let's type use to do app web controller same thing that we have here so if we go back to our test now that seem to do item controller test and if we run once again it's running here we see now that the, the error that we got now is that the index function with arity 2 is undefined or private so let's go back to our to our test. Let's go back to our controller and let's define the function index. So def index. The first parameter of, of a function in a controller is the connection, and the second one, which we we will ignore for now, is called params. And let's just return the connection. If you go back to our test now and just run this thing here, right now we should get that all our tests are passing. We have no errors. So actually this is a good moment for us to commit. So let's open a new terminal here and git add, all, git commit. Let's say that this is tests passing one. Okay, now we have our commits and we can continue. So guys, the next next thing that that we want to start is that we're receiving a HTML response from our connection with the status 200, which is which means okay. And inside this HTML, there is this test listing to do items. Okay. So if we go back to our project, let's assert we are receiving a HTML response. HTML response. Why it's not being compiled? Res Passing our connection to 200. Let's just assert this for now, okay? So if we run this, we see we were expecting a connection, but nothing was sent. And so, so we need to render something in our controller. Let's go back to the to our controller and actually instead of passing the connection, let's render connection and let's pass like the template called uh, 
index.html. Let's see now what we get. If we run our test once again, we see now that we have received another error called to do item view, render function is undefined. So actually it's looking for a view. We don't have a view yet. So let's create this view. Let's go back here. Let's see if we go back, go here to views. We need to create now a to do item view. Oh, actually we are in test. So let's go back to controller, to the controller. If we, now we are in the source folder. If you go here to views, we have this page view. You need to create a to do item view.ex. Let's grab most of the border plate from the page view. So let's just copy this and paste. But instead of page view, let's call this to do item view. And we can go back to our test, which is in to do item controller test. And if we run right now, we should receive another error. It, try, it tries to render the index.html that we define our controller, but no index.html was found. So I need to create that. If we go back to our item view, now we need to go here in templates. We need to create a new folder called to do item. And here we're going to be creating the template called index.html.eex. This stands for embedded elixir. Just save this. And let's go back to our test to do item controller test. And if we run this once again, we see down that everything is passing. That's a nice point for us to go there and commit once again. So let's get at dash dash all, get commit all test passing to, okay? Actually, the point where we are right now, we're not asserting what we are receiving from that generator in the in the project that is the generator. So let's go back there. We are saying that we are pattern match with uh, with a text that's called listing to do items. So let's do the same thing there. If you run this test, we see that we received a lot of things from HTML, but there was no listing to do items. So let's just grab this text here and paste inside that index.html.eex inside the to do item template. So let's paste this here and let's go back and try to run our test once again. Everything's passing. Nice. Let's go back and let's open our, our another terminal and get at dash dash all git commit all tests are passing three. Let me close this. But as you can see, we are not st still yet with the same code that we had in the controller from the generated project. Let's go back there. Right now, uh, if we go to our controller here, we are receiving a to do items. We're receiving the context dot list to do items, and we're passing this value here in our in our render function. So let's go back there. Let's create a to do items. Right now we don't have that context, so let's just pass an, an empty list, and let's pass this to do item as a param to be rendered. So to do items to do items. And guys, uh, this video is actually already getting pretty long. In the next video, we will start testing the context model for it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first part of the video and see you next time.